I started refereeing, I think it was in high school, it was probably late 90s, early 2000s. And I liked working with the younger kids and then I didn't even realize that there were different tiers and you could progress until I was in Pennsylvania. Because I was at grade eight through my time in South Carolina and when I was at George Mason. And then when I got to Pittsburgh, they're like, why well, haven't you upgraded your playing and coaching in college? So that's when PA West and a lot of the people there helped me move up the ranks there and get to the state level. The biggest thing I translate from coaching to refereeing is just the understanding of what the teams are trying to do. So in the first three or four minutes, I can see what the team shape is, what they're trying to do attacking wise, if they're trying to play through a holding mid and switch play, or if they're playing direct into a striker. So it helps me a lot with positioning and just moving around players. So I'm able to stay out of the way and still be in a good position to make calls. I think that's probably the biggest thing that helped me. I think the biggest challenges of refereeing at the higher levels are managing players. So whether it's an adult or a competitive development academy game, it's giving the players explanations when it's needed and just making sure they feel safe and comfortable in the game. So what you don't want to do is have people afraid that they're going to get hurt because the referee's not protecting them or if you don't call a foul and, and they really thought it was one, not being able to explain to them what you saw happen and being able to communicate effectively with them. Now it's just trying to keep developing and learning. And a big piece of that, I got a evaluation for me this past fall and it was the most helpful one I ever received. Where he broke down minute by minute in the clip, things that I could be improving on, things I did well. So those types of assessments that we get from the national level assessors are invaluable for us as we're trying to climb the ladder. You can definitely see the places that have the Development Academy and higher level soccer, it also impacts the referees because they're typically going to be a little bit better quality just because of the games that they get regularly. It's like our crew from North Carolina, and we have state referees that are phenomenal just because of the games that they get on a regular basis. And on the coaching standpoint, you can see even at the younger age groups how much better the kids are. We could never have done that stuff back when I was playing. Kids building out of the back, connecting eight passes, getting a shot on goal on the small field. So it, you can definitely see the impact that it's making since we've added the Development Academy. So for me, I actually enjoy refereeing more than I did coaching because I get to run around, you get some exercise, but I have an active part in my performance. Whereas in terms of preparation and everything else, if one thing goes wrong, you go up a bad goal, your team loses one nothing. Whereas here, there's not as much skin in the game as the referee. Obviously, I'm trying to do the best I can, but it's a, it's a little more relaxed position for me that I enjoy a little bit more.